think that's the time to four today. This should be fun. We got 15 packs of 1415 overtime wave two. And these are good. Uh, the base rookies in here include Goudreau, Ekblad, and Dreisaitl. And these, the rookie, uh, the insert in this is the rookie roll call. Includes Ekblad, Goudreau, Horvat, Kuznetsov, and of course, Leon Dreisaitl. So uh, yeah, I got 15 packs of this. First, I actually forgot a 17-18 overtime. We have three packs. Let me get into this first. See if I forgot anything good in here. I did. To bring that rookie. Hmm, this was a good pack. Mrazic and Natchez Blue. Solid in the Joe Thorn A1. That was a good pack. Now let's begin with the 14-15 uh, Wave 2. Hopefully this is uh, also good. Probably get at least one dry sidle insert here. Hopefully get multiples since the collation of this stuff isn't very good. And I think the rookie roll call inserts that's somewhat small. So could get multiples here. Valerie Nachushkin. An Aaron Ekblad rookie. One of the better uh, base rookies. A Burroughs Blue. And a uh, Mirko Mueller rookie roll call. Pretty cool looking. Here we got a dry saddle autograph. I don't know if those are in here, but I'm pretty sure there would be. That would be a pretty good card to get. I have pulled a dry saddle rookie autograph before. Pretty nice one. If you haven't seen my 1415 Platinum Jumbo box break, one of the best boxes I've ever opened. Probably the best box I've ever opened. Burkowski rookie and a Timu Palkinen rookie review. Yeah, that 1415 Platinum Jumbo box I opened. Very rarely do you see a box that's that good from start to finish with like multiple. $100 cards in it. Dennis Everberg. Rookie. Nyquist. Galchenyuk Blue. And a Johnny Goudreau. Rookie review. It's a foil pattern you don't really see too often. In fact, I can't recall ever seeing it on anything else. Kind of interesting considering... Uh, at least back in 2014, Panini Tops and Upper Deck would be printing out of the same factory. Odd that the other companies wouldn't use the same thing, or Upper Deck wouldn't use it more. Kanich, Galchenyuk, Craig Anderson, and a Leon Dreisaitl rookie review. There we go. Not bad. I don't know what the going rate on those are, but... This stuff's pretty tough to find. Uh, 1415, I think, was a pretty short print year for hockey cards because at the time, Upper Deck, you know, wasn't sure if they'd have the Monopoly because uh, Panini had just gotten out. So I don't think Upper Deck produced a whole lot because they weren't sure if Panini would still be around. Canich Blue and a Sam Reinhardt rookie review. And then 2015-16 came along and stuff was mass-produced like crazy. So much 15-16 Series 1, it's ridiculous. Well, it's not exactly a bad thing. Ryan Miller. Steen. A pierre Edward Belmer rookie. It's okay. And Ekblad. Ekblad rookie review. Already off to a better start than 14-15 Wave 3. That was pretty bad. It's been decent so far. Sharp, Pozo, Nyquist, Blue. Ty Ratty, Rookie Review. Cavalier on the Flyers. Patrick Berglund, we got a blue. Victor Fass, ugh. 42 of 
99 or green sorry not a blue and an Anthony Duclair rookie review 14 15 back in the day was seen as a pretty you know kind of weak rookie class and look at it now it's one of the best in a very long time Dion Phaneuf Yager Dennis Everberg blue rookie and Alexander Kokochev rookie review right to Anthony Duclair base rookie Ben Bishop Curtis Lazar blue rookie he was one of the uh, better names back in the day Marco Dano rookie review there was probably a time where Curtis Lazar young guns were selling better than Tricidal. same with you know future watches even cup rookies probably James Neal Shane Doan Eric Carlson and uh, Damon Severson rookie review There's the dry saddle base rookie. That would be a cool one to get. It's Curtis Lazar. Burroughs. Blue Craig Anderson and a Joey Heshawn. Rookie review. Terry Lettinen. Daniel Chara, Marcus Granlin, rookie, and a Wenberg with a not so good corner. Rookie review. My right, Jerome Ginla, the green in here. Flurry. Brent Burns, Ben Bishop, green. Out of 99. And a Jonathan Drewan, rookie review. Last pack. One more shot at Dry Seidel. Jonas Hiller. Chris Kunitz. Mark Andre Fleury Blue and a Bo Horvat rookie review. That was pretty good. Uh, did get a dry saddle rookie in there. A couple other decent rookies as well. Duclair, Ekblad. Just got the Fleury, of course. A couple numbered cards. Nothing huge, but that was pretty decent still. Uh, where is that dry saddle? There it is. Not too bad. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Check out the other overtime videos while you're at it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.